Hello, my name is Peely. Peely the Peely. How are you doing today? I'm not sure if you could quite understand what I was just saying right there, but I was saying, hello, my name is Perry. Perry the, the Parrot. How are you today? That is my world famous voice for Perry the Parrot. Actually, it's not really world famous, but growing up, my little brother Dane absolutely loved this little voice. Or, or maybe he didn't love, maybe he just thought I was a complete moron, but yeah, that was my little voice. And he had a, a parrot, a stuffed parrot named Perry. And I would um, create this, this character and these stories surrounding Perry the sarcastic little parrot. And oh, it was just so great. Uh, and the voice was really just that. It was just kind of this, Hello, how are you doing? Uh, it was just, just one of those where you just sort of swallow your voice and put it down in your throat, and uh, you kind of talk in a falsetto. It was, it was very, very fun. Little kids absolutely love it. Um, and I hope adults enjoy it as well. Uh, I do like puppets. Of course I would like puppets. I'm that kind of guy. Um, I, 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 uh, uh, wow, that, do you think there's something wrong with me sometimes? Like, wow, this guy even does, like, ventriloquist stuff with puppets. Really? But no, it's so much fun because you, you interact with people using the stuffed animal or the puppet, and it's just so rewarding to convince the person that the puppet is real enough that that person talks back to the puppet. For example, you, you have this little guy and you're talking with someone and 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 you, you're talking also and then you're talking and everything like that and and then the person starts talking to the puppet and right when that happens, right when you bridge that gap of reality, uh, that's when you know you, you have them. You're just like, yes! Oh, that's so awesome. And you try to preserve it, but more often than not, I, I just can't help but point it out, just being like, excuse me, sir, do you realize that you're talking to a stuffed animal? And they go, I'm sorry, he was talking to me, so I thought I'd, I'd address him. <laughs> yeah, well, I've used my, my Perry voice quite a bit, um, not really in a professional sense. Hopefully, I don't use it in a professional sense. I, Hello, thank you for calling Internet Academy Tech Support. How may I make your day extra special? Um, yeah, that, that's me um, at Internet Academy Tech Support asking how I'd like to make their day extra special. <laughs> wow. Uh, <clears throat> uh, when I was younger, okay, maybe high school or so, I uh, went down to California where my grandparents lived and my grandma, my mom's mom, we called her DeRossi. Her name was Rose. I don't know why we called her DeRossi, but that's just what we called her. DeRossi, very endearing nickname. And uh, she lived in Sacramento, nice and warm there. And so during the summers, we would go down, spend time with my relatives down in Sacramento and we would go to a water park, which is very different from going to a water park here in Washington because you actually enjoy it. <laughs> Imagine. Oh, uh, well, it wasn't painful. You didn't, yeah. Uh, so anyway, I actually remember going to this place, this, uh, this big, big water park with my cousin TJ, and we would adopt these voices. Yes, we were in high school when we were doing this. <laughs> we would adopt these voices and speak with people. Because <laughs> you're standing there in line. If you've ever been in a water park, you, you get to know the people around you pretty quickly. Uh, unless you don't want to get to know them and then you just kind of stand there awkwardly staring straight ahead. It's like, come on, at least talk with people if you're going to be standing here for 20 minutes. So we did. We would say, <clears throat> Hello. Hello. Would you like to buy a smile? Would you like to buy a smile? And then we'd sort of get this, 
<laughs> I'm not kidding. We do this to so many people. Let's say, and we kind of, kind of grin at them just quietly, and then say, one dollar for eternal happiness. <laughs> yes, we did that. Uh, one dollar for eternal happiness. In case you didn't quite get that, and uh, we never got any money, but but a lot of people smiled, and of course, instantly you'd ask them for money. Because you know you were you were selling them a smile and they took one, <laughs> isn't that brilliant? Yeah. So that was the Perry voice. Eventually, I did go to college, and I graduated beyond my my immaturity of using Perry, Perry the parrot. Yes. Instead, my parents got me a, another puppet. It was a Bible puppet, and of course, if you have a Bible puppet. He can't just be this holy little puppet. No, he has to be like the opposite extreme. So Obadiah Bible Boy was probably still is my favorite little puppet. He's a sarcastic little man, and um, he just he well drinks heavily and smokes and swears quite a bit. Uh, but it's such a wonderful character to play uh, because really, when you have a puppet on your hand. And you've convinced someone to to actually talk with and interact with this puppet. You can do anything. You can say anything. You can insult people with with the most flamboyant, creative, you know, vocabulary that you can muster. It's wonderful. It's so freeing. And they don't charge you for being absolutely rude to them. Matter of fact, they laugh even more. I don't get it. It's just like, look, I'm actually insulting you. I'm holding this puppet, insulting you to your face, uh, and yet it's this cute little adorable Bible puppet who's who's telling them that they have an ugly face. You can't get mad at that. <laughs> so, oh boy, I, I, I still love puppets. Still pull them out every once in a while. Uh, yeah. So there you go. That's Perry the puppet voice. And that is why you should branch out and not just use your normal voice. One dollar for eternal happiness.